7 o'clock in the morning and yesterday was the release of Pokemon Go in Germany and guess what we're doing? <laughs> we're like uh, installing this shit. I'm gonna play this so much, it's, it's unreal. I'm gonna start with Pikachu because I like Pikachu. I had like a Raichu in my um, usual Pokemon team, team every time I played Pokemon because he was so freaking fast. Yay! Welcome back. So I have somehow what somewhat got a decently decent outfit on right now. I have the dungarees from Monkey I showed you in another video and just some tights and I will wear some shoes later. And I have like this really baggy tee which has a round neck and a pocket and the one side and the other side is like a v-neck. I can't show you this right now but I'm gonna fit my makeup on and I want to get a cap because I definitely want to hide this mess so I'm gonna go a bit earlier than usual and I really need a selfie stick too but I'm not gonna get one today but I'll remember for the future <laughs> that I need one because I notice when I watch my other videos that I always have too much of a close-up on my face which is kinda boring after a while so clipped it up right now so I can do my makeup and I'll film this a bit I guess I'm wearing tights today because today it's not like very warm it's like like fi 15 15 um, degrees Celsius and so uh, it might be a little colder maybe I'll get a jacket too <clears throat> first things first I'm gonna use this primer by um, what is it? It's by, by Nila. I'll link it down below so you, in case you uh, search for it. It's actually the only, only primer I use. Actually, I have to put on just a little bit of face cream first. Mm -hmm. This angle, I'm trying to film from the most front side angle I can, but. Do you know the feeling when um, you go into the bathroom and have socks on and the socks get wet? I really hate that, but that just happened to me. So I'm actually always pretty spontaneous when it comes to my makeup. Um, depending on what I wear or if I wear something already, I'm trying to just put on the something that suits my mood or the way I feel. Find my dress. Brown stuff. There's so much stuff here. Oops. So I'm lighting these up with concealer because I don't have a um, I don't have any any brown mascara, and I actually don't know any good ones in which make your your brows look lighter. If you know any. Or have a recommendation which aren't um, of brown mascaras which aren't that expensive please let me know because I really need one <laughs> so if you know any even if they're like a Korean brand or something please let me know I was thinking about getting a Korean one but I hesitated to do so because I wasn't sure about the color and I really like to test things out before I buy them although I think I might find one online too which could suit whatever I try to do here while well, these are light now I'm gonna go in with my blush and try to make them pink <laughs> Sometimes it works a lot, uh, very well, but sometimes it's take, it takes a few minutes to apply it. Okay, 
as you can see uh, alone <laughs> I'm just doing my brows and it takes a long long time so I was talking about um, Pokemon before and I am the typical girl uh, growing up with Pokemon not um, with the series at first but um, the first when I was like in um, elementary school um, Pokemon edition the first editions came out which were fire and water or something blue red and um, yeah I didn't play it then but when the Zephyr and R Ruby came out that's when I, s I got my own edition and that's when I really started playing Pokemon and I got to and later on I got the editions where there was like that silver crystal Pokemon and stuff um, it wasn't the, the edition crystal, it was like some metal, kind of metal thing <laughs> I can't remember and I don't want to look it up right now because I have to do finish my makeup somehow and um, I'm gonna do some concealer first here because I have really deep like my poofies, I always call them poofies but um, you should call them my rings under my eyes well and when I played that edition it was like the first edition for Nintendo DS and I really played a lot I had like 560 hours on it and I had it was like the first edition which introduced two versus two um, duels and I really liked those and I liked the d dynamic behind it I got the um, I got the matching um, game for the GameCube, I think. Was it GameCube or already V? I think it was GameCube and I'm not sure though. And I really liked playing um, online. You could play like online matches with your Pokemon on level 100. And I loved Libeldra. It, the, I think I, 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 I made like a lot of Libeldras and called them different and made sure they have different attacks and I have like two in my team and I really enjoyed these times because I was really strong I, I think the bro my brother and my other friend from childhood couldn't beat me at all anymore because I had just too much um, uh, knowledge about strategy, strategy at that time and I really knew about the hidden stats of the Pokemon and how to train them, uh, which Pokemon to kill to let them get the certain attributes and how to calculate the, attrib the hidden calc uh, attributes so you know if you got a good one or a bad one and stuff like that which was totally crazy so I was really into that game for a while but eventually because I didn't have a lot of people to play with it uh, play play with except for the internet I even traded Pokemon over the internet a, uh, there is a like a really big German community which <coughs> like play um, the biggest community uh, of Pokemon players in Germany was like uh, I think a site called Biza fans or something something similar like that and I, I, I got all my knowledge from there and I traded with people from there but anyways, eventually I grew out of playing that game and went on and played Rapples, I think. And Pokemon was something I played by myself a bit, but after that edition, eventually new Pokemon came out and I didn't play it anymore because I had no interest. But I really like Pokemon. I would have loved to play it again at the time the new Pokemon came out, uh, Pokemon editions came out. But I should have. I must have gotten the new pl platform for that, which was which was Nintendo 3DS, and I didn't want to spend money just for one game on that. And I actually didn't have like the motivation to go through all of that again and learn all of the Pokemon again and stuff and get really into it. And I um, was really tired of that. But with Pokemon Go, I think I will get a really casual player this time. I'm swearing to not get that addicted. I'm getting really into games sometimes, especially if I'm good at it and round based games were like, all the turn based games were like my thing. And then I'm getting going in with my favorite power powder, it's actually the only powder I use until now and it's like, it still lasts. 
it lasts a really long time but I'm sure it will go um, empty soon so I'm gonna set my makeup with this I randomly put on some lip tint um, just now because I was talking so much I didn't think about what I'm doing you guys were distracting me in some kind of way Well, that was like my small story about Pokemon. I'm just gonna finish my makeup. Excuse me if I turn off the camera now. <laughs> I battle too much and I can't concentrate. So as you can see, I just finished my look. I opened just my um, my hair like this and I'm gonna keep it like this. Well, as I said before, I just remembered uh, something about my Pokemon days because of that game it's like um, how should I say it um, the first the games I played in 2 versus 2 I had like a certain strategy uh, strategy <laughs> strategy um, it was like I got Raichu which was like super fast so I made sure that I was sure that he always got the right first turn unless there was something really unusual fast on the other one's team, which wasn't the case most of the time. My Raichu was really fast. And I got Togetic too. And Togetic made like a balance. Raichu was as fast and made sure to knock out one like one enemy Pokemon unless he, there was not anything that was weak against electricity or something like that or when I knew he couldn't like get a squishy one killed right away um, that w that's why I got like Togetic as a backup so people won't like use earth attacks easily and he was like immune against those and he was pretty fast too so he can like make sure that Raichu um, got some protection but in case something happened I could just switch up Raichu against something that flies too or something. I could like really, um, I could really like calculate a lot, and I was really into that. And I had a lot of these <laughs> libeldras. I don't know the English word for them, but I'll show you the picture. The green cute one with the big eyes. They were so they're so cute. I think they remind me a bit of Yoshi. That's why I like them so much. And. Oh, the light is so bad. I can't help it. I'm gonna sit down on the floor soon if this doesn't get fixed. But well, there was like in the early editions you could like put your Pokemon in facilities and make them <laughs> have, have babies. And I always produced like these uh, Libeldra kind of Pokemons, these dragon slash earth Pokemons. Eh. Focus, focus. And they were so cute and they had all different attacks and specialities but the last baby I did made was like super weak so I don't know I really like that I was really into that game because it was so much fun I will never like get into the editions as much as I did before because it just costs so much time and effort although it's super fun I don't know the new Pokemons I'm like the 90s girl generation kind of girl so. Well, that's a little side story, and as you can see, my hair is all fluffy, I don't know why, but it looks pretty fine to me. I like that. All good, I'm gonna get and try to find a cap now, before I work, and then I'll see you afterwards. Yo, it's currently um, 
almost 11 a.m. and I have to go to work later. I didn't I manage to vlog yesterday after work because I was just so tired and um, what are we doing? I'm just uh, fixing my hair color. I have to do it fast though and then I'm gonna have some breakfast and then I'm getting ready and then I have already have to go to work so mm, nothing special going on. I'm not sure what I can do. I want to do some other videos um, but without Photoshop and stuff. Basically I have a lot of ideas but um, I'm not sure how to pull it off because I'm not working on my own computer which is kind of annoying and I don't like using other people's computers um, at all so I already had my coffee and I'm just waiting for this to sink in and then I'm gonna wash it off um, actually I wanted to let it air dry but it's po probably not possible in that amount of time I'm gonna let it air dry as much as possible and then I'm gonna do um, some blow drying I hope you have better times than me because today, at the moment it's pretty hectic and yeah, it could be worse, it could be worse. Um, and I have to like definitely do the dishes because it looks really gross right now. I, it, <laughs> it piled up the last two days and there's no, um, there's no dishwasher here so I'm gonna do that now while this dries. As you can see today my hair color um, came out pretty well can see it here best. I'm pretty proud of it. Of course, in the, at, near the roots, it's a bit, there's like some yellow shades, but like minimal, mostly underneath the main hair. And I'm really happy.